So I'm going to be playing, this will be my first um, Let's Play on my new channel. I'm going to be playing um, The Escape from Monkey Island. Um, and just one note, I was doing a test video and for some reason I can't record the cutscenes. Sound appears, but the video doesn't appear. So there will be no cutscenes in this playthrough, just the game. Um, I'm sure you can probably find the cutscenes online, or if you play it yourself, you'll be able to see them. Um, but I won't be able to show them. So, just as a heads up, this is one of my favorite puzzle games of all time. This and the first Monkey Island game, as long with Sam and Max and Grim Fandango, which is one of my favorite puzzle games of all time. I'm. It's been a while since I played this game, but I'm fa fairly familiar with the game, so I won't have. I should, hopefully, you won't have too much trouble playing it. But, anyways, I'm about to skip this because I can't watch the cutscene. So, we'll get straight into the puzzle. So, what we're do we're on an enemy ship, and we need to fire this cannon at the enemy ship. Um, and I'm tied up, and I can only move left and right. Um, so let's get to it. I'll just give a quick preview of some of the buttons that I'm going to be using. U is to use, P is for pickup, um, I is for inventory, and right now it's all I'll say. I'll say one, one more button soon when I use it, but anyways, I'm going to use this and then pick up the hot coals. Page down to, page up and down to cycle through the options and fire it at that loaded cannon. And there we go. Things to do on Mayline Island when you're dead. So apparently we're dead. And nothing in that cutscene would have told you we were dead, by the way. No, you adorable numbskull. Something has gone horribly wrong while I've been away. N nothing else can explain. What's that? I think hey, the reason I can't the show the cutscenes is because they you, use, this, this game uses its own sort of engine um, for rendering videos, Even and it doesn't, doesn't fit well something. with my screen capture. What is it, boy? Timmy? Is something wrong? Free grog at the scum bar? Free grog? No. Damn. There's been an outbreak of scurvy? He won 74 bucks playing bingo, but lost it all playing banana futures. <laughs> Face palm. There's, There's trouble, trouble at the governor's, governor's mansion. mansion. Let's go. Looks like they can sort of understand monkey as well as coordinate hmm. their speech. Pack. Let's try 17, 4.2, 12. Fire! Ah! What do you think you're doing? What does he look like I'm doing, fancy pants? I'm knocking down the governor's mansion. You can't knock down the governor's mansion without approval from the governor. Yeah. The governor's dead, man. Dead? Was the marriage that killed that, they say. But I am the governor. Do I look dead to you? Uh, no, ma'am. Then cease and desist your boulder flinging immediately. Yeah. Sorry, governor. I'm on the contract. I'm legally obligated to destroy your mansion with this here catapult. Something's rotten on Melee Island. I know. But the stench usually drifts away with high tide. I've got a plan. Although it <laughs> sometimes lingers during an eclipse. Uh, guy brush! Uh, yes, Part of the reason I'm I love this game is the humor. About getting declared undead. That's the, the best Won't reason to play this game. Won't that make you a flesh-eating zombie? In the meantime, I need you to do two things for me. More back rubs and foot massages? <laughs> And maybe later. First, I want you to put a stop to this insane boulder flinging. Stop the insanity. Check. Second, I want you to go to Luker Island. Talk to my grandpa's lawyers. They might know how to help us fight City Hall. Oh, but I hate talking to lawyers. And not as much as they'll hate talking to you, dear. Okay. Well, I've got a resurrection to perform. Be good, dear. And don't forget, stop the catapult. Go to Luker Island. Sounds like the honeymoon's over. She was a lot nicer before she died. Okay, so 
There's two things I need to do on this island, basically. Stop that catapult and then find a way to leave this island. So let's talk to this guy. Um, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, just a sec. No, no, not just a sec. What? Okay. Please stop firing boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. Sorry about that, kid, but I'm on the contract. What would it take to get you to stop flinging rocks at my house? Permanently? Yeah, some kind of restraining order, I guess. You'd need some fancy lawyers for that. Okay, how about temporarily? Well, the union gives us liberal snack breaks during the day, but I don't have any snacks. What are those numbers you're muttering? You know? I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something, but I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All I know is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. Okay. So now I'll show you another key. If you click the O key, it, it gets you outside of where you currently are. So if you're in a building, you exit it. And if you're outside the building, you just go to the world. Map. So I need to quickly go over here to the harbor. Um, and get an item. I'll be back here again, but the only thing I need here now is this popped inner tube. Oh, again. And it's time to go to town. Melee town. And enter the scum bar. Quick, th there's a quick thing I need to do before I talk to some dark players. These dark players. There's a thing I need to do before I talk to them. And that is, I need to try and get these jerky pretzels that I need to distract the catapult launcher guy. Unfortunately, I am not allowed to take him. I guess he doesn't want anyone taking his birthday it's pretzels. It's his birthday present, sort of. Birthday pretzels. Maybe it was just like a free gift. He looks like a bum. Anyways. Ahoy, mateys! Buzz up, buzz up, breath. Yeah, can't you see we're busy here? You're in a bar. You're playing darts. This is busy? Listen, we're playing for the title of Grand Master Dart Champion of Melee Island. Yeah, and unless you're good enough to compete, which you aren't, we'd advise that you take a long walk off a short pier. I'm a dart throwing maniac. Really? Back in grade school, they called me the Dart Master. Or something that rhymed with that, anyway. <laughs> or something so, rhyme. can I join your game? No. no! Dang it, they're mean. Um. Why are there so many holes in the wall around the dartboard? Those are from other players. Oh, yeah. yeah. We never Everybody. miss a shot. Get out of here. No, really. Pick a number. He'll hit it. So. This this option, if you don't try and get the blue, the pretzels from the guy over there, this option doesn't um, doesn't show up. But before I do that, there's a there's a couple interesting targets that they can hit that I think are fun. It's kind of like a little Land secret. Land one right in the eye. It's not of hard that to find. Skull over it's the not door. hard to like, goes nothing. Not hard to do or anything to show up, but they're still fun to see. Wow, that's pretty good. Because you have to do them, you I have to show, you, you have to make them hit all these Name interesting targets all. before the final one appears. How about that post on the right side of the screen? Oh, trying to be tricky, huh? I'm impressed. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Another one on the first shot. And this is the funny secret. I bet you can't hit that guy over there. Ha! That's easy. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and all of it. These are some, this There's is a no cool way one. you'll be able to hit the center of that life preserver on the kitchen door. Oh, trying to be tricky, huh? But the secret was hitting the screen. Nice shot. Okay, now I bet time you can't hit another one on the first shot. The Name bullet. it and all of it. 
I bet you can't hit that balloon over there. Oh, this is harmless, right? Tricky, huh? He's just being mean, popping someone's balloon. Ah! Oh god. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Impressive. Well, that's all I needed from them. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Because now, he doesn't look like he's going to need those pretzels anymore. I guess he won't be needing these anymore. Um, click O, O. And it's time to deal with that catapult. So, this is two parts. Obviously, he said that if he, if he gets a snack break, He'll temporarily stop, but that'll only be for like, what, like a couple of seconds, Let's eating like a few pretzels maybe. So I need more than that. I need him to be able to not launch for a long enough period of time. So I'm gonna make a makeshift catapult. Hmm, not a bad piece of modern art if I do say so myself. Get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. Hey there. Here, I brought you some kudu jerky pretzels. Here's really? a snack. Thanks. Maybe really I'll stop. appreciate this. You're welcome. You know, you could thank me by not chucking big old boulders in my house. I could, but I won't. Now leave me alone for a minute while I eat these. Grateful. Tinker with catapult controls. Hey, this way he'll what do you think be forced to recalibrate towards that. I don't know what you're talking about. You totally messed up my catapult. What you trying to do to me? You're killing me over here. Well, guess I'm gonna have to start over at my calibration cactus over there. Get out of my way. I hope this works. There. It's recalibrated to the cactus. Let's try it. Fire! What the? Yeah! <laughs> and owned. Or not. Ha! And owned. And a big kaboom. I can't believe you did that! Do you have any idea what those things cost? They don't grow on trees, you know! <laughs> they don't grow on trees. Most of it does. Guess what? I'm still dead. But don't worry, I'll love you even after rigor mortis sets in. We've been gone so long they didn't think I was coming back. So those numbskulls at City Hall declared me dead at sea. What about me? Did they say anything about me? No. Then they decided to sell all my belongings and destroy the mansion. That's terrible. Did they sell any of my stuff? A and the worst part is, they've ordered a new election for the office of governor. Hmm, maybe I should run. So far, there's only one candidate. And you know the old slogan, when there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Who are you? The name, Mr. Threepwood, is Charles L. Charles. But you can call me the next governor of Melee Island. You can't be the governor. I'm the governor. And it's a lifetime term. Well, that's the rub, isn't it? You've been declared dead. So I've heard. How did that happen? Who can say? Uh, perhaps if you'd spent a little more time governing and less time gallivanting all over the Tri-Island area with your pet monkey, the good citizens of Melee wouldn't have come to the mistaken that? conclusion that you were pushing up the petunias. Wait a second. Was I the pet monkey in that last sentence? Okay, uh, we get it. You're yeah. running for governor. But why destroy my mansion? Oh, that. When you died, the mansion became the property of the state. As a favor to me, the future governor of Melee Island, the town elders contracted a demolition firm. That's me. To destroy this outdated bourgeois symbol of the elitist piratocracy. But why? Because the days of pirate princesses ruling from secluded mansions are over, my friend. They are? Indeed they are, lad. If the Melee Island of tomorrow is to prosper, it must be governed by a man of the people. 
A man unafraid to mingle with the common folk. A man who won't hide in a mansion guarded by vicious piranha poodles. A man like you? Precisely. He makes a lot of sense, Elaine. I never did like those poodles. Uh, guy brush! Well, I've got hands to kiss and babies to shake. Hands Ta. to kiss and babies to shake. Something fishy about that guy. <laughs> really? I thought he smelled more like a rotting corpse. I've got another plan. Ew. Maybe a hint of oregano. Uh, rotting guy corpse brush. with a hint of yes, oregano. Dude, I'm going back to City Hall to run against Charles. I wonder why he smells Ooh, like that. How can I help? Go to Luku Island to talk to the family lawyer. Yeah, he's a but why? They destroyed the catapult. Bag. Yes, dearest, I know. But with that demolition order hanging over the mansion, another catapult could come at any moment. We need the kind of restraining order that only my family lawyers can provide. But I want to come up with clever campaign slogans and do ops research. Guybrush, love of my life, I'm a politician. Let me do what I do best. I'll let you do what you do best. What's that? Sailing around the Tri-Island area on seemingly pointless errands. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? What I meant to say was venturing into troubled water on dangerous quests. Well, okay then. That's more like it. Okay. I'm off to start my campaign. Don't spend too much time on Luger Island, dearest. Okay, so... I think that'll be the end of this part. That's half of the things I need to do on this island. The second half will be getting a crew and getting a ship and leaving for Luger Island. So I'll do that on the second part, on the next part of my um, video. So that was the end of the first part of my Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.